can you learn about Bucharest just by walking in the park? Among other things, you will find out what Hitler, Stalin and the Gaul had in common. In this video series, which we release in English and in Russian, we talk about cities and countries one can learn a lot from. Today we want to tell you about Bucharest. When looking at the map of Bucharest, many blue spots attract attention. These are the rivers, which are quite numerous in Romania. Water flows from the Carpathian mountains and moves to the south. Today we will tell you about the area around the lake Herostrau, one of the 18 lakes formed by the Kalentina river. Kalentina flows into another river, the Mbavica, which can also be found in Bucharest. The Mbavica flows into the river Argesh. We plan to tell about the city on this river in one of the following issues. Finally, Argesh flows into the Danube, which in Romania is called Dunare. But why did a lake appear on the river Kolentin? Originally, it wasn't there. The lake is artificial. A rather large area north of Bucharest was hardly used at all, because due to the spring flood, the river became wider. It was impossible to build anything there. How this territory could look before becoming a national park? You can imagine by looking at the neighboring Lake Floresca. Here is how it looked several years ago. Returning to the Lake Herostrau, only in the 1930s it was decided to create a national park on this site. Finances were allocated for this and foreign experts were invited. It was also taken into account that the Ark of Triumph already existed near the site of the future park. The first wooden Ark of Triumph in Bucharest was erected to celebrate Romania's independence from the Ottoman Empire in 1878, so that the victorious troops could pass under it. Now the lake is quite large. Its area is 77 hectares. In the center of the lake, there is a picturesque island, a refuge for birds. The park located around the lake had different names. First, after its creation in 1936, it was called the Park of King Carol II, then the National Park. Later on, it bore the name of Joseph Stalin, and a statue of Stalin was placed at its entrance. The park bore the names of two Romanian monarchs. Carol II and Mihai I. Carol II is the father of Mihai I. He was quite an eccentric monarch, and at some point he decided to leave Romania to be with the woman he loved, and the right of succession was transferred to Mihai. When the grandfather King Ferdinand died, Mihai was only six years old. He was a monarch for three years, but Carol returned and regained the throne. Carol ruled long enough, but in 1940 his reign ended in a disaster for Romania. Romania lost significant parts of its territory. Transylvania became possession of Hungary, while Bessarabia and northern Bukovina were occupied by the Soviet Union. Carol abdicated the throne, gave power to Mihai. That is, Mihai is twice a king. Mihai became a king in 1940, but he didn't actually reign, since the country was ruled by a pro-German dictatorship. However, when Soviet troops defeated the German-Romanian troops in the Yasa Kishineo operation, Mihai decided to estrange the pro-German generals from the power, and Romania joined the anti-Hitler coalition. He maintained a fairly close relationship with the Soviet Union, and in Moscow he was even called the Komsomol King. He was awarded the Order of Victory. But in 1947 the Communists decided that it was not good for Romania to be a monarchy, and Mikhail was removed from the throne and allowed to leave the country. Thereafter, Almost all his life he lived in Switzerland. Only since 1992, after the overthrow of the communist regime, 
He could sometimes visit Romania, but mostly he lived in Switzerland, where he died at the age of 96 years old. After the death of King Mihai, the Romanian government decided to name the park, which was first called the Park of King Carol II, the Park of Mihai I. Being a part of the river, the lake is separated from other lakes by dams. Because of that, the water level in the lake is substantially fluctuating over time. In the upper part of the lake, the railway bridge serves its boundary. A smaller bridge below the railway one is shared by pedestrians and cyclists. In the lower part, there is a dam with a bridge for pedestrians and cyclists and a dam museum. Further down, there is a road bridge with permanent traffic jumps. And next to the bridge, there is the cross of the century, which was erected as a token of remembrance to the participants in the 1989 anti-communist uprising. Near the park named after Mikhail I, there is a square at the intersection of several highways, which required a sonorous name. First, it was named after a Romanian Haiduk, which no one outside of Romania was aware of, and therefore the struggle to give one's name to the square started between three historical figures. The first to come to the square was Adolf Hitler, and in 1940 he gave his name. But due to the well-known events in 1944, he had to run away from there. So Joseph Stalin appeared in his place. But it is clear that Stalin had to flee as well. Finally, the general Charles de Gaulle appeared at the square and he still stands there as a monument and the square is called Charles de Gaulle Square. At another intersection next to the park, the already mentioned Arc of Triumph is situated. In its present form, it was also built in 1936, at the same time with the park, and the arc was also copied from the Parisian Triumphal Arc. And at the same time, the design and construction of the Cushion Church, which belongs to the Romanian Orthodox Church, was started. The dome of this church can be seen from the opposite bank of the lake. Many interesting objects are located on the alleys of the park next to the Triumphal Arc. One of the alleys is named after Michael Jackson. A monument to him is also placed there. The history of Bucharest was reflected in the architecture. The building that we see now is an obvious relic of socialism. We saw similar buildings in Warsaw in some cities of the Soviet Union. This style is mostly known in the former Eastern Bloc as Stalinist Amper style. Nowadays, this building is called the House of Free Press. Earlier, this building housed the editorial office of the Romanian newspaper Skintea, which means the spark, the word used as the name of the Leninist newspaper. So, the name of the newspaper of the Romanian Communist Party was the exact translation of Lenin's newspaper. As a sign of protest against the communist dictatorship, a monument the Wings was erected. It is devoted to the victims of the communist regime. The pedestal of the monument was earlier used by the Lenin's monument, which was then deconstructed. Several temporary solutions were suggested before the Wings project was adopted. And now the Romanian capitalist development is symbolized by the building of the World Trade Center Bucharest. It is not by chance that it bears the same name as the famous Twin Towers destroyed in New York. That is, Romania is now confidently moving along the path of capitalist development. The avenue which runs between the House of the Free Press and the Arc of Triumph, bears the name of the Count Pavel Dmitrievich Kisilov or Paul Kisilov, the Russian statesman who, during the Russian-Turkish War, commanded the Russian troops in the Danube principalities. 
Under his leadership, the first constitutions of Moldavia and Wallachia were adopted. Kiselev Highway bears his name since it was he who initiated the construction of this road. The park around Lake Hirschstrau is also an active recreational area. This concludes today's tour in Bucharest. We hope that you will join us on other trips to Bucharest, Romania and other countries. And subscribe to our channel, click the like button and write in the comments, press from which countries you would like to see on our channel in the first place.